I have a question for number 17. That was okay. on the practice midterm. Sure. Um, it's the equation of a vertical line through four comma negative four. Okay. What are we thinking? Um, so we know that um, we know what one of the points are on the graph. And we got to find the equation of it. I know that. Okay. Where to start? Um, uh, maybe if we could draw a picture. Okay. So we'll graph it out. That'll be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, right here. And a vertical line going like this, right? Yep. yep. Okay. So I was thinking, okay, so I know like with the vertical lines, one, two, three, four. So I know like with the vertical lines, you're basically gonna always have the same X intercept because you're not really going over. You're only going Good. up. Yep. So, so that one has to be four as well. Right. Um, I don't really know. Four is no, it won't be four is zero. Yeah, four, you know. So, so what's the equations that we've been dealing with for lines? Uh, y equals m x plus b. Okay, sure. So, what's the slope here? What's the intercept, the y intercept. The y intercept is four. The y intercept is. Isn't this my y axis? Where does it cross? Oh, okay. So the x intercept is four, and then the y intercept is. I don't really know. Zero? No, no does it cross at zero? X. Wait, I'm getting mixed up. So the idea we're looking for is where does this thing cross the y axis? We don't. There we go. That's an important thing to observe. So if right now the thing that we're starting with is like, okay, this is what I remember lines to be. We could say, where's the y-intercept? Doesn't have one. So this is going to be a very different, like this is not going to be a good equation to use. In fact, what's the slope of this line? Four. Nope. Do you see it going up four and over one? Oh, it doesn't have a slope. It has an undefined slope. The reason okay. being because the slope here means rise over run. Like we could actually, we could absolutely find the rise here. Like I have risen from one point to another, right? Right. But have you run at all? Have you gone sideways? Nope. Nope, not at all. So what you have here is actually a problem that's occurred because you have a run of zero. You have a divide by zero slope, an undefined slope, a problem slope. And it will also not work with your um, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, because this is your point slope form. And as it kind of says in the name, it needs a slope, and we don't have one. OK. OK. So, so there's a couple ways you can view this one. Do you remember the last way that we were drawing lines or writing equations for lines? Standard form. Standard form. In fact, the reason why it has you deal with standard form is sometimes it'll come up in word problems like this. Other times it's because we really just need it to be able to describe all types of lines. And here it works actually to describe this type of line very well. Because as it turns out, the way to describe this line is, as you saw before, the only thing that I can pick out from this line is that I always have an x value of... You're always going to have an x value of 4. So that's exactly all that we need to be able to describe this line. Okay. So whenever you have a vertical line, it's actually being written in this standard form because it's got your x's on one side, your y's on one side, or whatever. But what you're, what you're talking about here is everything I need to draw this line. And if all you tell me is that x has to always be 4, that forces me to be making points that are always 4 away sideways, and like that, that's the line. And so if you were to have any, so would that go for any vertical line or any horizontal line? Not horizontal, because the horizontal would be different. So let's take a look at the horizontal one real quick. Let's imagine I had a horizontal line, but it went through something like, uh, let's do 4 comma negative 3, okay? Talk okay. to me about this line. So you'll have... Well, that's negative. 
Okay, four comma negative three. So all of your points is still going to have that y value of negative three. So it's just going to be y negative three, right? Very nice. Now, as this one turns out, this one actually does have a slope. It has a slope of what? It don't have a slope because, you know, well, it has a slope of one, right? No. What's the rise? Four. Is it going up four? No, it went. How much does this line go up? Negative three. It went this down. This line goes up negative three? It went down three, didn't it? It's, that's where we are, but is that how much is changing? Is that my slope? Is that my rise run part? Like that's my rise as I'm going up three every time? Does this line go up? Nope. No. Oh, so what's the rise? It don't have one. Good. So what's the number? Zero. Negative three. Nope. Zero. Is there? Wait, but why? Is so what I, I it's, there's there's a very like kind of like I don't know where it comes from, but there's kind of a guttural intimidation of the number zero. There's there's really no need for it. Everything you gave me in terms of language was perfectly correct, my kid. It doesn't go up. It's always staying exactly where it is. The rise doesn't ex or the rise you know isn't a, a rise. That just means that the rise is zero. In the same way as above, I was asking you what the run was, and you said this thing doesn't go over sideways, and so the run was zero. Here, the rise is zero. You can run as far as you want. It just makes it much to be zero. So you could actually approach horizontal lines from a number of different directions. You could do it in the exact same way we did the vertical ones, or you could do it from your y equals mx plus b, because your slope is zero, so that would be zero x plus b, which would just be b and here b is negative three so we could just say negative three and we get y equals negative three you could even do it from your point slope form you could do y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 because m is zero this entire thing over here is zero and you get y minus any of the y values you had before which is negative three but you can move to the other side and that would be y equals negative three. So horizontal lines are actually quite easy to deal with. You just recognize they have a slope of zero, which I think is kind of intuitive because when you think about walking across something that is flat, you would think of that as being sloped zero. It's not slope, it's just there. Versus when you talk about something being perfectly up and down, that's one that you have a little bit of difficulty because you can't write it as a fraction. Does that help out, Ikea? Yeah, that makes much more sense. Okay, good. So don't be intimidated when you say the thing isn't running across. Like let, let it let that pop up naturally. Or if you feel intimidated by it, you can always use the equation. So you say rise is going to be any y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, and you can just choose some of those four comma zero, and the other one is four comma negative four. You could plug those in and say, okay, well let's do zero minus negative four over uh, four mm -hmm. minus four. And you're going to see that you have a divide by zero error versus here you could choose something like zero comma negative three and compare it to four negative three and you're going to end up getting the rise as negative three minus a negative three and you will find that this whole thing comes out to zero so the math can carry you okay <clears throat> full yes okay awesome 